Hello and welcome to Kim's Beauty Basics. I'm Kim. Today I'm going to be doing a head-to-head -head wear test. Um, so we're going to do half of my face with one foundation and half my face with another. They're both really long wearing foundations and they're both um, pretty brand new and from really popular brands right now. So that's why I wanted to test it out. I did go to Sephora recently, which you can see in my last video where I picked up a couple of Sephora collection favorites. I also ended up picking up a couple of foundation samples because um, I wasn't quite sure which foundations I would like. I've been obviously watching a lot of beauty YouTube um, reviews on these products but um, I never know or anyone never knows if it's really gonna work for their skin because everyone's a little bit different um, and I do currently have um, a favorite foundation which I've been using in pretty much no I've been using in every video that I've posted so far and it's the RCMA uh, foundation so yeah, this is in the shade Shinto 2, and it's one of my favorites. Today, I'm wearing no foundation currently. I'm wearing eyebrows and some eye makeup and obviously some lipstick. be doing the application um, and then a wear test, and I'll be putting on um, my bronzer contour and stuff on top. I won't put any powder so we can see how it wears and see how the foundation um, acts with a little bit of oil or dryness. I have combination skin, so... I have an oily t-zone and then a little bit out here too and then just dry dry on the outside i would say so i'm excited to show you the two foundations um and if you would like to see that just keep on watching and if you do end up liking this video and liking my channel feel free to subscribe and uh, like this video and i would love to hear from you as well so please uh, leave your comments if you've used any of these products before or if you're interested in that rcma foundation let me know i will be working on a video very soon for that anyway if you want to see this just keep on watching All right, so we're here. We're going to test these two foundations. I've just uh, washed my face and then I've uh, moisturized with my serum and daily um, moisturizer. And so my, there's nothing on my skin. Um, I do have eye makeup again, lipstick and eyebrows on, but other than that, nothing on my face. Um, I'm gonna be putting on my primers. Um, I won't zoom you in for that because you primers primer, you don't really see much. So first I'm gonna be using my Benefit Pore Professional Primer. So my Benefit Pore Professional Primer, I only use on my nose area. Um, I have the largest pores, I would say, on my nose. And this is really good as a pore filling primer. Um, it does kind of break me out if I use it anywhere else on my face. So I don't um, tend to use it anywhere else. I just keep it really concentrated just on this bottom part of my nose here. So for the rest of my face, I use the Tarte um, primer here. Uh, so this is called the Clean Slate Poreless Primer. It's a 12 hour perfecting primer. I bought it because they said it would be pore filling like the Benefit one it's at Sephora. And then I just didn't find it has as much of a smoothing property or like pore filling property on my nose so I really just use this sparingly um, mainly here and my forehead and a little bit on my chin and under my nose face is prepped and primed let this dry for a second and then we will go in with the foundations first dun 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 I don't have any boxes so that's fun but anyway I got the uh, Sephora sample of the Too Faced um, Peach Perfect Foundation in Natural Beige is the shade that I got. Um, and here's my sample here. Um, I'll zoom in just so you can see the color. So this is Natural Beige here. So on the website it says Natural Beige has neutral undertones, which I would agree with. It's kind of in between there. Too Faced Cosmetics Peach Perfect Foundation is um, supposed to be oil-free, 14 hour long wear, uh, oil controlling and photo friendly. It's also supposed to be transfer resistant medium coverage. So that's what they say. It is infused with refreshing peach and sweet fig cream. I'm gonna be applying that to this half of my face here. I'm going to apply it with my finger and then I'm going to use my Real Techniques it's kind of a dupe for a beauty blender here. I'm gonna use it on both sides of my face. So far the shade is looking like a pretty good match for me. This is blending out really easily. So that's one layer of foundation here. Um, the coverage is pretty good. I would say it's medium bordering on 
medium to light, which is fine. Like it's to it, I hopefully it's buildable. We'll see. I'm gonna put another layer layer on a couple spots right now, just where I need more coverage, which is mainly here. I'm just gonna apply a little bit directly to the beauty blender with my sponge and just to see if that can get me a little bit more coverage than I'm looking for just in my discoloration in this little breakout that's happening right here. Yeah, it looks like the coverage that I was looking for. Um, it definitely is matte and the color match is also pretty good. I probably should blend a little bit down into my neck. All right, so the other foundation that I'm gonna be using on this half of my face is another long wearing and brand new foundation that's come out recently. It's the Fenty Beauty Foundation um, by Rihanna's line, Fenty Beauty. I got this in the shade 300. Um, they're all numbered from, they have 40 shades, I believe, currently in the line, and this is 300. It's medium skin tone with a little bit of a yellow undertone. Up, it's picking up pretty well on camera. It's kind of yellowy. So that's the shade 300. So let's go in and see what they claim about the foundation. Um, you've probably seen a million reviews on it, but I just wanted to compare it to the Too Faced one just because um, they're both kind of new and long wearing and claiming to be these matte foundations. It says apply one to two pumps of Pro Filter Foundation on the back of your hand using the full body foundation brush 110, which is in her line. Um, dot the product onto the center of your face and blend outwards. The quick uh, rundown of it, it's a soft matte long wear foundation with buildable, meaningful coverage in a boundary breaking range of 40 shades. Always shake before to activate, so I will try to do that in its little sample thing. So we're gonna shake this up. Just gonna warm it up on my hand apply to my face and then blend. Just for reference, I'm in NC 35 approximately in MAC. Um, I know the camera lights wash me out a little bit, but yeah, I am a little bit more of like a, a true medium skin tone here. Yeah, so it's a little bit orange, and then this discoloration here, I've already applied like a second layer and not really getting the coverage that I would like. I mean, if you had perfect skin, like, great. I do not. So, I need a little bit more. And the colors getting oranger on this part of my face especially kind of patchy i would say it's clinging a little bit to dry spots on my face out here and then nothing for coverage for here which is kind of sad it definitely is matte well both sides are very matte actually all right so both foundations are applied currently this is the fenty beauty on this side and this is the um too faced peach perfect foundation um color matches so far. The Fenty is looking a little bit orange and this is more of my skin tone on this side. And the Fenty is a little bit dry, like extra drying and not as much, not as good of coverage I would say than the um, Too Faced on this side. So I will be right back. I'm just going to apply my concealer, bronzer, highlighter, all that good stuff and I will be right back. So this is the Too Faced um, foundation on this side and this is the Fenty Beauty. The Fenty Beauty is looking kind of orange and I have this weird patchy dryness going on on my cheek here. So if you do have dry skin, I don't know if this would be a great foundation for you, but maybe if you're super oily, this might work. The foundation on this side with the Too Faced, um, everything applied over top as per normal. Um, it's looking pretty good. It did cling to a little bit of dryness on my nose, um, as did the Fenty, but not too bad. I'm gonna go around, do some errands, come back, do a check-in, and I will see how both these foundations wear. So yeah, I will be right back. Hey guys, so it's been a couple hours and I've run some errands, ate some food, reapplied my lipstick a couple times. Um, so I'm coming back just to give you my final thoughts. So as far as wear and just overall like my foundation of preference, I would say the Too Faced Peach Perfect um, foundation is my winner today. So this is the Fenty Beauty foundation on this side. Um, yeah, my smile lines, especially right here, just look more prominent than this side here, which looks a lot smoother to me. Um, 
and even like the nose area is shinier on the Fenty Beauty side. On this side I had probably worse breakouts and I find the coverage of the Too Faced a little bit better. And just the overall finish is a little bit nicer to me. It looks a little bit more like skin. Here are the swatches applied fresh to my hand. Here is the Too Faced um, Peach Perfect Foundation and this is the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 300. These are freshly applied. I'll let them dry down and I'll come right back. So again, this is the Too Faced here and this is the Fenty Beauty here. As you can see, it's a lot darker, the Fenty Beauty, and a lot more of an orangey undertone. And then here is the Too Faced, which obviously is a better match for my skin tone and more of a neutral shade. For both foundations, I didn't apply any powder over top and I also didn't reapply with any powder or the foundations. I just applied them when we were on camera and I just let them go. So both wore really great through the day. Um, at least for the, I would say, I wore them for about five hours each, so obviously it's not a full day, but for me, five hours of wear without a touch-up and without any powder to start with is great. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you did like this video, um, feel free to like it and um, comment down below if you've tried either of these foundations, if you like them, if you dislike them, um, anything like that. And also, uh, just to update, I do have... Um, breakouts like everybody else and so I will let you know if um, either of these foundations ended up breaking me out. I will be wearing the Too Faced for the next couple days so I will update the description box if anything changes. Um, if you enjoy my channel, if you want to watch more videos, feel free to s subscribe to my channel um, and if you want to as well connect with me on social media, my social media handles will be right here so feel free to um, add me on there. I would really love to connect with you. So that's all from me. Wherever you are, have a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful day wherever you are.